guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sean Karbanda. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing guys how you can make an image scraper bot using Discord JS. And uh, so basically, what an image scraper bot is is that you're going to send some keywords to your bot, and then that bot will take those keywords to Google Images, and it'll find the best image, and it'll return that image back into your text channel. So suppose I'm going to type something like "search um, basketball." So what it's going to do is the bot's going to take um this keyword basketball put that into Google Images and then return the best match for it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is open up your project and if you're not sure where to get started or how we got here, make sure to check out the first three videos in the series where I show you guys how to set up your coding environment, um, get your bot ready, um, and then also set up your command handler, which we have been using throughout the entire series. So the first thing that we actually want to do is um, that we want to install the image scraper. So we're going to type npm install images scraper put that into your terminal all right once that is installed um so the first thing that we're going to do is create a new file in our commands folder and name it search.js so we're going to get started how we usually do by typing module.exports and give it a name so search give it a brief description you can customize this to your liking And then we're going to create an execute method. Make sure it's asynchronous. So async, execute, and then pass in uh, client and args. Client, we're going to pass in client, message, and args. Then what we're going to do is const member mentions is equal to message. Okay. And now, once we've done that, what we want to do is import a scraper, essentially. So the way that we're going to do that, it's going to utilize this image scraper package. And um, the link to this can be found in the description below. So essentially, we're going to copy this part of the program. And then we're going to paste that into our code right here. So what that does is it requires image scraper, creates a new uh, Google, and then um, use this puppeteer and sets headless to false but what we want to do is set headless to true and then we're gonna go over here and then we're gonna type const image query so create a new image query and then just do args dot join so basically what that does is if the user provides multiple keywords the bot will combine those keywords into one keyword and search for that combined keyword on Google so once we've done that, um, what we want to do is create an if statement, basically saying if that image query does not exist on Google, just return back to the user saying that this image query does not exist. So if uh, image query return message dot channel dot send back to back take dollar sign member dot id please enter an image please enter another image something like that you can customize this to your liking and then what we're going to do is basically type const image results so that gets us our results is equal to await google dot scrape image query Sorry, no period over there. So what that does is it'll return back the image results back to the channel. So image results returns an URL and the source of it. So what we want to do is return the URL of the thing because Discord will convert that URL to an image for us. So we're going to type message dot channel dot send image results, which is our object, and then do that, and then we're going to type URL dot URL. Okay. With that being done, we should be good to go. So let's save the code. And then go into our terminal and do node space start. It says bot is ready. So let's go to our Discord server and then type search basketball. And there we go. Boom. Um, as you can see, the bot has returned back an image or result from Google for basketball. So we can put in like another keyword. Let's say search or let's say watch. And there you go, it returns back and watch. And let's try testing the args.join that we created earlier in our code. So let's type like a multi keyword. So let's type, let's say video games. 
So ideally what the bot should do is that it should combine um, the, this keyword into one keyword and search for that in Google. So let's see if it does that. And uh, there you go, it does combine that keyword um, into one keyword and search for that in Google. And you can search for anything on Google as long as it exists on Google. So there you guys have it. Now you know how you can create an image for your bot and you search for keywords and make your bot return that back to your channel. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a like, share this video with friends and family, comment down below if you have any questions regarding this video or any other tech related topic and I'll gladly help. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.